What's up guys and welcome to episode 2 of Lowballing to a Max Terminator. As you can see here, our island is kind of work in progress, so just ignore that for now. But basically, I'm going to be lowballing until I hit my profit goal of 1.5 billion coins. If you haven't already watched the first video, go do that right now as I explain everything in that video. And in that video, we went crazy and racked up a total of 346 million coins in profit, which is just crazy in one episode. So yeah, that's where we're starting today. 28% of the way there to our 1.5 billion coin goal. These videos take a long time to make, so as always, your subscription is greatly appreciated. Let's get right into the video. The first lowball of this episode is a recombobulated Beastmaster Crest, which I bought for 33 mil. The lowest buy now for the same exact one on the auction house is 34 mil. So for some reason, I decided to list my note for 33 mil so I would make negative profit. I have no idea what I was thinking. Let's just move on, because I thought this was 5 mil profit. Our next lowball here is a pretty big deal. I'm paying 100 million coins for a non-tier boosted, legendary, level 100 ender dragon pet. I make pretty good profit here, but I would make even more if I were to sell it on Discord instead of the auction house, but I'm just too lazy to do that. However, if you guys are lowballing, it's definitely something that you should look into. On the auction house, I found the exact same ender dragon pet for 860 million coins. So, as you know, we list ours for one coin cheaper. A full, basically plain set of sorrow for 15 million coins. I think the price was a little bit inflated because of the mining update, but still easy profit. A cloudy century cake for 3 million coins, and I advise you guys to stay away from these things because I'm pretty sure I didn't even end up making profit off of this. Anyway, some good news this time. Our level 103 G-Drag with an Anubis skin actually sold for 800 mil. That was one of our best flips so far, and I'm happy to solidify the profits. Here are all the auctions we have up right now, and just look how many items we have up there. A lot of them should sell really quick, and we have a total of about 1.2 billion coins in there. Alright, it's the next day, and we have 890 million coins to claim, so let's get to it. A majority of the money is coming from the E-Drag that sold, which is really good for us. Some other things that sold are the random talismans, and some of the Sorrow armor. On another note, our Sorrow chestplate sold, and finally, the Warden helmet sold as well. So let's claim these coins and move on. For the first lowball of the day, we have a Necron's chestplate with two Master Stars, Fumings, two purple gemstones, I don't know, there were something, Legion 5, G6, P6, Strong Mana 6, and Reflection 5, as well as it being recommed. Let's put up 80 mil for it and take our profit. Also, I could take out the gemstones and put crappy ones in there, but I'm just gonna list it on the auction house how it currently is. Alright, let's put it up for a light 103 million coins, and we do get taxed 2.5 mil unfortunately, but we'll survive. 380 million coins for this epic Scatha pet with a quick claw as the held item. This was a bit of a risky lowball, but if you don't take risks, you don't make the big money. So I took the risk and it ended up working out just fine. As you can see on the auction house, there aren't many Scathas, let alone with the quick claw. So let me put mine for 10 million coins under the quick claw buy it now, just to ensure mine sells and it doesn't get undercut. Another level 100 E-Drag without a tier boost, but this time I'm paying 810 million coins. It's less profit than last time, but it's still profit. So let me list it up on the auction house for 862 million coins. Our 7 star Necron's chestplate sold fairly quick, so let's claim those coins. I'm paying 73 million coins for this recombobulated Jaded Chestplate of Devon, which has 5 chambers unlocked, which if you didn't know, adds a lot of value. Easy profit. The same one is listed on the auction house for 89 million coins, so you know what we do, and we undercut him by a total of 1 coin. Let's get it. Here, we lowball nothing, but we get 20 million coins for free. Why? I don't know. I put 4 million coins up for the set of werewolf armor and this aurora helmet. However, I forgot to sell the armor and the price went way down so I actually lost money. Just kidding, we sell the aurora helmet for a total of 15 million coins because it's definitely worth that much and that's not a donation. Shout out to Ched's Cube. This next guy has a set of hollow armor except it has mana pool and mana regen on all of them. If you didn't know, mana pool mana regen is the god roll on aurora armor and some people use hollow armor as a substitution as it's way cheaper. Also, I bought this because I might test it out in a future video, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. And we got muted, which isn't the first time this is going to happen. Once again, the E-Drag sold for 862 million coins, so let's claim that and head on our way. Oh yeah, the skate that actually sold as well, which is pretty huge for us. Okay, so I have this Necron's chestplate that I'm 80% sure I lowballed, but I don't have the clip for it, so let me just show you how I listed it up anyway. I found a chestplate that's pretty much identically similar, so I undercut that price by about 1 million coins. So now we just wait for our 8 star Necron chestplate with Legion 5 and all that other good stuff on it to sell. This guy comes to my island with full jaded sorrow and all of the sorrow pieces have flawless gemstones in them. These gemstones are worth a decent amount of cash. 
And don't forget about his Drill 2, which also has a flawless gemstone in it. The Drill also has Pristine 5 and Compact 7, which contributes a decent amount to the price. So let's take this profit, and for once in my life, I'm actually going to use the Hex. The Hex allows you to do everything you need to do in regards to upgrading a piece of armor, or in this case, removing gemstones. So what I'm doing here is paying 800k to remove the flawless gemstone, and then adding a rough gemstone, which cost me like one coin. Now that I'm done with the helmet, let me do the rest of the pieces, and then I'll get back to you. Alright, now we just have the drill left, so let me remove this, and add a rough gemstone, and we're done. Now, if we go to the bazaar, I could insta-sell all of my gemstones for 26 mil. But since I want that additional extra bit of profit, I'm going to be creating sell orders for all of them. And if they don't fill, I can always just insta-sell them anyway. Here are my three sell offers. I'm going to let them cook for a little bit, and then I'll come back and claim my profit. In the meantime, we should probably list the mining gear on the auction house. Starting with the Jaded Sorrow Helmet. I found the same exact one for 20 million coins and I'm going to be listing mine up for one coin cheaper, like always. This way, mine will appear before the other one, which means it'll sell first. You should always be undercutting another item by one coin. Our Jaded Sorrow chestplate is going up in the auction house for 21 million coins, so let's list ours up for 20,999,999 coins. The cheapest recombobulated Jaded Sorrow leggings are 23 million coins, which is actually 2 mil more expensive than the chestplate. Anyway, that doesn't matter, so let's list ours up for one coin cheaper. We can't forget about the boots, which are going up for around 17 mil in the auction house. And you should know by now that we're going to list ours for one coin cheaper. Wow, who would have guessed? Finally, we're going to be listing up our topaz drill, and here I'm checking if the heated reforge actually adds anything, because I was pretty sure it doesn't, but it's always good to double check. And yep, I confirm that it's pretty much not worth anything. So let me search up topaz drills on the auction house. Now I'm going to type pristine 5, which my drill has, into the never enough update search bar and hit the search button. This will highlight any other drills that have pristine 5 on it so I can accurately compare mine with other ones on the market. I found a similar drill for 39 million coins, so I'm going to list mine up for a little bit of a cheaper price. I'm not sure how long this will take to sell, but it shouldn't be too long. Let's go check on our gemstones. Only a couple of them have sold, so I'm going to claim the coins, cancel the orders, and just insta-sell them like I stated earlier. Well, that marks the end of a less successful, but still successful episode 2, where we made a total profit of 237 million coins, which increases our total profit for 346 to 583 million coins. This means we are now 39% of the way there to our 1.5 billion goal. Stop. If you guys would like to win 100 million coins, then simply like, sub, and comment down your IGN and why you think you deserve the coins. I will be picking one lucky winner at the end of my month of daily uploads, and I will be announcing that on Discord. So join using the link in the description down below. And also in the Discord, I'm doing an additional 100 million coin giveaway. And there are other useful channels too. Especially for my YouTube channel members who get personal help and advice on lowballing, flipping, and progression from me and my co-op member.